This past summer, the government announced a record-setting health care fraud takedown, scooping up over 300 people who allegedly defrauded Medicare to the tune of a collective $900 million. How'd they do it? Data, data, and more data. While field agents are responsible for actually knocking down doors and hauling off the bad guys, a lot of the work is actually done behind computer models using sophisticated data analytics and modeling programs. Data analysis can spot several red flags in Medicare claims data that point toward possible fraud, including patients receiving home health care services for multiple years. Other red flags can include a high number of rejected claims and a high number of patients being referred by just one doctor. The HHS Inspector General has a team of 40 data analysts constantly combing through Medicare claims data, looking for outliers and unusual billing behavior. They've even created what they call the Peer Comparison Generator, which lets enforcement agents compare a doctor's billing pattern with other doctors in the same geographic area looking for suspicious billing behavior. Real-time data access is also helping stop the bad guys. A few years ago, it could take government agencies a few months to get a hold of Medicare claims data, while today, the data is available as soon as a claim is submitted. With that kind of speed, data analysts can flag suspicious claim behavior and send it to enforcement within days. Data analytics is also a big player in some of the government's other fraud enforcement tools, especially the ominous sounding temporary moratorium, which can freeze an entire category of providers from enrolling in the Medicare program for a specific geographic area. Moratoria can be imposed if the provider category poses a credible fraud risk. As of today, moratoria are in place for home health agencies in Florida, Michigan, Illinois, and Texas as well as for non-emergency ambulance providers in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Texas. Any way you look at it, data analytics is the new key to healthcare fraud enforcement.